All right, what's going on you guys and welcome back to another video. Today we have the iPhone 7 with us and we're gonna be talking a little bit more about a feature that I have never discussed on this channel, at least in a really long time, and that is the iOS 10 Control Center. And this is a pretty nostalgic feature. I feel like Apple should have used this feature a little bit more and we're gonna get into it in this video. But before we do that, I did want to mention this was the first ever iPhone that I showed on my channel like a few months ago and it's like a little piece of iClassic history so I'm definitely not going to sell this anytime soon but anyways let's get right into this video. So a quick backstory, back in 2016 when Apple actually released the iOS 10 update they completely redesigned the control center as you guys can see here. It was a really big change from what we had in iOS 9 for example and even though it was pretty similar it still had a completely different layout and the way that it worked was very different because you actually had to swipe over in order to access your music controls and that's actually one of the reasons why a lot of people didn't like this control center. And another big thing is that this control center was only ever used for one year and basically it was never ported over to iOS 11, it was never brought over to a future iOS and it kind of sucks that Apple only used this for one year. It's like they spent an entire year trying to design this control center and only ever used it for the first year that it came out which was 2016. And there's a reason as to why Apple didn't kind of bring it back and that's actually because in 2017 when the iPhone 10 came out, there was no way that they could implement that same control center with the iPhone 10 because the iPhone 10 had a notch and there was just no way you could swipe up and access the control center so it all had to be done by swiping down and that's why they ended up just making the control center what it is today across all of the iPhones regardless of whether they have a notch or not. Now let me know what you guys think, did you guys like this control center a lot more than what we have currently today? Because personally I like this one a lot even though it was a little hard to use controlling music and everything. It was a really great control center to have while it lasted. And the last thing I did want to cover in this video was the generation of the control centers. So as of today, Apple has basically gone through three major design changes in terms of the control center. So for those who don't know, the control center actually first came out with the iPhone 5S and the iPhone 5C in 2013. Now in iOS 8 and iOS 9, the control center was slightly different, but it was still pretty much similar in terms of where all the controls were. You didn't have to swipe over for anything. Everything was there right in front of you. And then the second generation was basically the iOS 10 control center. That's when everything changed and it was only ever used for one year. And then in 2017, they came out with the completely different control center that is pretty much what we have today with the newest iPhones. And I'm not the biggest fan of this control center. I think it could be a little bit better. Now, like I said, be sure to let me know what you guys think about which control center you guys like the most. And it'll be interesting to know because I really like the iOS 10 control center, but unfortunately it was gone after one year. And lastly, I did want to say thank you guys for all the support on my last few videos. It's incredible. We're almost at 30,000 subscribers. It was actually my goal to hit 30,000 before the end of this year. And I think we might be able to hit it sometime next week or maybe the week after, after this video is uploaded. So we'll have to see. But I just want to say thank you guys so much for the tremendous support. It definitely means a lot. And I'd love to make more videos like these. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thank you.